It took forever to get here today. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. Anyway, what's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. A, hey, that's all we do. A. Hey, now, what? I'm coming to you with another video. A, hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, picky, picky. A. Hey. <laughs> I have to do that because like that's what we do now so anyway um i am here to do a video well duh i just said i'm coming to you with another video but i'm super duper excited and i'm here to do a video i got a little matchy matchy going on that's why i'm all up in your grill too but i got a little matchy matchy on i got a green shirt green eyeshadow nah, i don't know i feel like doing all that and let me see i don't know if i'm feeling the eyes yet but anyway this is about the foundation and this is about some concealer you guys i just did a video on the new rihanna concealer and i told you guys that i had some more videos coming well girl they're here oh yes they're here the new video is here oh yes if y'all know that song, put it in the comment section, okay? So anyway, um, that I have bars just then, but I have this new foundation by Milani. It is called Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. Now, I don't know if I still have the Milani foundation. This is my little foundation area. But remember, I did like, well, if you don't remember, I'm about to put you up on game, okay? I'm about to let you know. Um, so I did like three videos on the Milani foundation. This was two or three years ago maybe even four years ago when the foundation first came out and it was i notice i say was notice okay it was an absolute love and then the summer came around and i was like girl mm -mm. it wasn't working for me in the summer but i'm gonna try this foundation and i also purchased oh whoa <laughs> i purchased three concealers because milani has a new concealer it is called conceal and perfect long wear concealer just like the foundation and the foundation shade that i got is in the shade nutmeg and listen if i had a collar i will pop it because do y'all know that i picked these shades from the website girl yes the website and their swatches i just said let me see i looked at the colors i looked at the swatches and i read the description i tend to have like a golden olivey type undertone situation so i was going by that and i think your girl did pretty good now this i actually used as a base on my eyes today before i did my eyeshadow and it worked out well i did it on my brows too and i blended it out and you can't even tell so it's really really close to my shade so it looks like there are 17 shades and uh i don't know if y'all can really see that but it looks like there are 17 shades and it is 9.99 but i don't know if it was a little sale when i purchased it but 9.99 for the foundation and the claims it says our full coverage creamy foundation stick blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone this weightless stick delivers a natural matte hey girl hey finish that lasts up to 12 hours we're gonna try that out on today because it is right now it's like 2 p.m and i probably won't do a follow-up until like 10 p.m or maybe 1 a.m in the morning because i got my party and then i got a road trip girl anniversary weekend turn up and then it says the transfer oh the transfer oh hold on the transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to uh, bamboo powder hmm. to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores hmm we'll see oh it says available in 20 shades not 14 okay so i will read more about the concealer when we get to the concealer but let me just put on this primer and let her soak in girl but i forgot to say i'm all up in your grill so you can see the real a a a i do get this a lot like what are you rocking on your eyes and all that good stuff so today i am rocking through my eyes the collaboration between i love sarahi and ColourPop, and this is the palette and i'm using the green color called emerald green go figure pluck out that's what the palette looks like so now i'm gonna move on with the corrector because i always correct when i do foundation that is the true way i'm able to give you guys my opinion because truth be told i don't rock a foundation without a corrector and then now i'm gonna use the makeup forever r50 which i've been hearing that they are discontinuing it so check with your sephora girl and see because somebody told me that they got theirs for three dollars and fifty cents so i tried to go to sephora and see if i can get mine for three dollars and fifty cents 
No, that didn't work. And they only had one, but I got her because she's a love thing. Coming soon, I actually found the Makeup Revolution 12 and a half concealer. Cause you guys know I have been mixing the 13 and the 12. We gonna see, we gonna see. And they actually have a corrector. So um, Makeup Revolution, I'm coming for you. I will see you soon. Okay, so now let's get this cracking. Oh Lord. Uno momento, pause for the cause. So I do have my brush. It is a Sigma F80, I, like OG y'all, way OG. I'm gonna use that because my e.l.f. is dirty right now. So I wanna do one side with a foundation brush because um, foundation sticks usually work better with the brush. But I also wanna do a blender because I love it. And I'm really, really praying, say a moment of prayer for me, that this is my shade. It really looks like it. It's nutmeg and I only got one foundation. So it, it has to work, it has to, okay? So, it has to work for me. It's looking like it's working, eh? It's looking like it's working, mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> but this is gonna get her done. Oh, it does feel like it's kind of full coverage. And it does feel, that's one thing about foundation sticks, you know what I mean? Like you have to, you gotta spread them. So now I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. Let's just make sure it's not a whole bunch of water in there. Um, I think I'm gonna use this side of it. I am using the Real Technique, which the Real Technique sponge is not a super fave of mine. Look at it, it's breaking up. It breaks up really fast. It didn't used to be that way. No, wait, yes it did, it did. That was one of my problems with it. But I did find some and I bought some more cause I was in desperate need. That's really pretty though, huh? And it's a really, really good match. I honestly think that I like the Beauty Blender side better than this side. So I am gonna put another coat in Seeky fashion because I'm generous with foundation. You guys know. Mm -hmm. The concealer is $8.99, okay? And the concealer comes in, it doesn't even tell me how many shades. Oh, 18 shades of the concealer. And the one that I got, or the three that I have actually, I have warm tan, which I will swatch. I have deep tan and I have warm almond. Now warm almond is the one that is similar to my skin tone, but I'll swatch them so you guys can see it. But it says it's creamy, full coverage, water resistant makeup that instantly conceals and lasts up to 12 hours as well. And perfect for concealing under eye circles, blemishes and discoloration. Formula contains vitamin E to help replenish skin's moisture and is available in 18 shades. Roll up them sleeves, girl. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go in with, well, first we're gonna give you swatches, okay? And I got three because I wasn't really sure. So this one is going to be 160 warm tan right here. Wait a minute. And it has that flat applicator, like the Rihanna kind, I think. So that is 160 warm tan. I like that color. I do. I do, I do, ooh. And I have 165, this is deep tan. I think that's the one we're gonna, we might use both. You know, I'm gonna do like I did with the Rihanna. I'm gonna do one on the nose and one under the eye and all that good stuff. And this one is more full coverage than Rihanna. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And I like full coverage concealer. And cause I like, like if I don't, if it's not full coverage, then I'm gonna keep building, right? And if I have to keep building, then that's probably why I get even more creasing. Cause the truth of the matter while you're watching this, I'm gonna put it all out there, like all the way, keep it 100. Like I crease no matter what concealer I use. It's just how, like a matter of time before I crease. That's what matters to me. And I don't like to pack powder on because it just makes me way too dry. So that is what shade? This is 170. So I'm gonna go with 160. And I am generous with uh, concealer, foundation, whatever. I love makeup and I like, I just like a lot. If I'm gonna do it, I do it. And I don't like to go right in my lines, but right under there, and then I blend it up. It's so freaking creamy. Do y'all see the creaminess? Oh, this is another way to tell if it's full coverage too. Bars, watch this. Now, do y'all see how that's blending? Do you see how you really can't see my hand through there? A very, very little bit. Now that's how you know. And I'm blending and blending and blending and blending. I'm gonna put on my chin and my nose. I don't really highlight my, um forehead. Now this one, I will say this is a little more, it has more olive undertones to it. You see that? It's a little more olive. It isn't as golden. 
and I'm cool with that. So I feel like I could go with either or. So I'm actually gonna take this side because I like that it has that flat side. So I'm gonna blend that out and then under the eye, girl. But so far, so good. I have rocked this concealer before. And at the end of the day, of course, I creased a little bit because I always do. But I feel like it held up very well. I like the consistency of it. I like that it is kind of mattifying, but it's not like overly drying, but it's not overly hydrating, if that makes sense. As I'm setting this, I am going to give you a little bit of background on the concealers that I do like so you can get an idea of you know, the kind of concealers that float my boat, okay? So I do like the Too Faced um, Born This Way concealer. The first one that they came out with, like not the multi-sculpting one, that one is way too drying for straight under my eye. It is, it's great for using down here, like if I wanna just sculpt and get that highlight popping, and it stays, it's great. But right under my eye, it just makes me look 100 years old. It draws a lot of attention. So I like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And then I like to mix it with the Tarte Shape Tape. So that's what I used to do with that. And then the Makeup Revolution is just great to go right on under. And I don't have a problem with it. It's not too drying for me. Now I'm going to go under here with the Black Radiance Powder. Because I feel like since I'm using a drugstore concealer, why not go with a drugstore powder? I like the Urban Decay All Nighter. But I like the Urban Decay All Nighter um, only on my face because it is too drying for under my eyes. So now that you know about my concealer story, okay? I used to really love the Maybelline, um, Ma was it Maybelline Super Stay? Maybelline some kind of stay. It was really good. I used to use that too. So I'm going to do a little bit of baking. But I never bake right under the eye because I know that I have like lines and that's just not how... I'm living this life. This is how we bake. This is how we bake. <laughs> My BH Cosmetics powder in 240. Let me show you, girl. I always say that we hit pan and we need more. But I don't think I really have to set this foundation. But I said everything, so I'm going to do it. I'm just going to follow suit like usual. Do y'all ever do y'all makeup and tell yourself, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Hey. <laughs> Cause I am right now. I really feel like this look came out really cute and maybe I'll do a video. If you guys want to see a video on this look, let me know. And really feeling this foundation, like it matches to a T. I'm really feeling the concealers. I tried the concealers once before and I told you guys it was a win, win, win. But I am going to come back nonetheless. Um, Let me get my phone so you guys can really believe me. It was like two something when I started. Then I got like on the gram and yeah, an hour kind of went by. So it's like 3.11 right now. You guys, we were taking a road trip, so I'm gonna make it real quick. Here are the under eyes. And actually, it is 11.15. And I think this has held up better than the Rihanna because the concealer is not like stuck in my lines. And I had this on since two o'clock and I've been under my ring light doing my jewelry party. So this is it. And I have a little bit of makeup. Cause I was just, it was hot and it was a long thing. We was doing a lot. But anyway, um, creasing happens. I probably need to drink more water, but I don't have concealer locked inside of there really, right? So you let me know. So anyway, I gotta go y'all. Talk to you later. Bye. You guys, I totally forgot to show you the foundation. It's like 4, 11 a.m. And I told you guys that, um, I was on doing a little road trip and this is what the foundation is looking like. And I had this on at like two o'clock, uh, two o'clock PM yesterday. So it's not bad. And I think I blot it one time and there's the concealer still. Oh, wait, I was sleeping in the car and stuff too. Anyway, there you go. That's it, girl. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Please do not forget to join the fam bam. I would love to have you here. Um, not only join the fam bam by subscribing, but Click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat, okay? I totally had swallowed. You guys are totally awesome. You rock. And with that being said, I want you guys to have an awesome, blessed day. And I'll see you sooner than you think. Bye, y'all. Tiki Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. Tiki Beauty makeover.